to another episode of Hot Spot. Sterling EQ recently shared a stage with legendary South African singer-songwriter and lead singer of the multi-platinum selling South African rock band Watershed. Follow us as we go backstage with Karina and Ariel and interview oh Craig Hines. I heard a knock on the door, I'm scared. Strange things have been happening to me. I'm with Craig Hines, he's also on the amazing lineup tonight. Um, Craig, what a voice. Uh, how many years has it been for you now in the industry? When did Watershed start? It's been, it's been 12 years. Wow. I'm flying out First, exactly. The first album was in 2000, so yeah. we are going into yeah, probably. Wow. wow. And how many albums have you done now? That's four albums, and then we've done a best album. When you've done a best album, you know that you're a best album. <laughs> well, you know, I, I think, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting thing because either the best album is the end of a career, yeah. or it's sort of a marker in your mm. career. So, um, for us, it's a marker. Mm. And do you do a lot of solo stuff? Um, or how does it work um, with Watershed? Um, well, well, I mean, 12 years is a long time to mm. together. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny you say that because we were chatting with the band, and um, the guys, you know, everyone in the band does stuff. You know, they they have other band, they have jazz bands, and they they um, have their own studios and stuff. And um, I've always just been in Watershed. And I'm, I'm currently working on it, so... Oh, really? Yeah, just as a, you know, as, as something that I, you know, just... that I've been wanting to do for a while. Yeah, and the style and, and the sort of sound, will it be flowing organically from what Watershed is, or is it sort of got a... I think it's quite a tricky thing because twist. we... Yeah, it, it, it can't be the same, is that I thing? Suppose, it, eh? it can't be that, <laughs> because I think if... Um, it can't be too similar because... Mm -hmm. You know, um, one would say, well, what's with a solo album mm. that sounds... So, the, the, we, you know, there, there's been a... Um, there's, there's quite a, a vocal difference in, mm. with the new album. Um, I think song-wise, I, I feel the songs are um, maybe a little bit more refined um, and, 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 and possibly a longer period of time um, crafting the songs instead of jamming them into six yeah. months saying, right, we've got to write an album, there it is. It's sort of a lot of time spent on the songs and making sure that the songs are really right. Yeah, I suppose that's the lesson that you learn after having a handful of albums. Mm -hmm. um, you know, anyone can really put together something and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. tomorrow, but to create something that's really special and that's got longevity, that's mm -hmm. what it's at. And, um, and, and it was a, it was, I mean, obviously we've still got a couple more songs, but it was an amazing playing with you tonight. Oh, cool. You've been in the... Um, we've been, um, Sterling EQ, we've been together for four years now. Yeah, four or five, yeah. yeah. Four, four, um, we five. released our first album in 2009. And anyway, yeah, we've, we've just released our third album now with, with EMI. Um, mm -hmm. And it's also, it, it sort of brought us to a new place mm -hmm. in, in our song, because the first two were sort of get out there, get into retail and whatever. And yeah. this one we really, I think, a lot of intellectual mm -hmm. time and property spent into the end. It seems like you've got that, that, that whole sort of, um, that, that ability to do that thing, that <laughs> study thing, but yeah. I mean the look of the four of you is just mad. Yeah, so no, look with us. That's, the, that's where the, the that's so strong. Thanks. Greg, um, tell us about um, inspiration for songwriting, for some of the lyrics, some of the music that you write. Um, I think songs are weird things and, and it's, 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 um, it's not easy to explain a, a, a song. I mean, often I'll write an entire song and and go back and think like this is going to be a load of hogwash. And then you go back and actually read, it and it sort of it makes sense to you. Um, but you haven't concentrated on what's what's being written. Been happening to me. I read the letter and it's written in bold, so I I turn around. And I think it's 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 about. Um, just about accumulating um, ideas and um, you know uh, um, sort of getting stuff from people. Yeah, and and, and and gathering it over a period of time, and um, it's a, I suppose like filling up a, a jar, and once it gets to the top, it starts overflowing. You know, you've got to empty it, so you take all that stuff that's gone into it and and write it all out and mm -hmm. get it down, and and then you'll start. Refilling mm. it by just 
I think it's just spending time um, watching and, and observing mm. um, sort of that voyeuristic mm. type, type, um, type thing, you know. And, and, uh, and then uh, I think what I, what I really love doing is also um, co-writing. So, mm. you know, you might, you might just have a, an initial idea about a lyric, a lyric that you think is really good, and, but you might not know where it mm. could go. And to sit with other people is, is great because, you know, for them it's a fresh idea and they go, wow, if that happened to me, I would do that. <laughs> and then so, suddenly it gives you a, an, an angle. So some of the songs are real to, to what um, I've experienced and what I'm doing. And some are stories that we make up as well. Mm. The most amazing thing, obviously, is, is to just see the fans sort of singing the songs with you. The song that you sat with and that you struggled with and that you sort of created. Yeah, yeah, and just seeing their response to it and, and you know, it's become their song. Um, that must be amazing. Yeah, I remember um, we, we did Shine On Me earlier, and I remember when we launched the second album was at Sandton Square. There were 10,000 people and we we yeah. played Shine On Me, and when we got to that chorus, it was like, I see you, yeah. and we stopped playing, oh, and they sang yeah. the rest of the song. Wow. And, that's and that's what it is. Yeah. It's, it's because it's so simple, and mm. it's simple, but it means something to people. And you can relate to it, yeah. yeah. But it could easily go the other way, you know. It could yeah. easily go like, oh, you know, what have they done now? Like, exactly. no. And, and, and I think you should never take that for granted. Mm -hmm. um, seeing the fans embrace your music in each time, and with each new album, with each new single. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Thanks for chatting to us, veteran of songwriting in South Africa, and your beautiful songs. And we look forward to hearing more music coming up. Something to do, bring me water, bring me water, bring me sun.